Hey! Hello. <laughs> so I just finished my um, first doctor's appointment apparently in this Canada. <laughs> and um, so they are referring me to uh, somewhere else, a hospital closer to where I'm currently staying with this overprotective. My dog. Let me not say. Let me not say. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying, like she literally uh, doesn't even want me to bend or to do anything, like even to cook. I've you, never seen this kind of thing. You fried it today. You fried it today. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's a lot of work. <laughs> so we are waiting for our Uber to go back home. So apparently, I have to do like another blood work. The one I brought from Nigeria is not enough. <laughs> so or they are, they, they are not accepting it. <laughs> So I have to do like blood work and ultrasound and um, they are referring me to some labs and uh, I'll be doing that. It's already close of day so I'll be doing that tomorrow. I want to the test for glucose. Apparently I'm not supposed to eat for like 10 hours <laughs> before the test and I'm like how am I going to do that? How am I going to survive? We literally have to go and meet the doctor back and be like we need to clarify maybe this is a mistake. <laughs> but they were like yeah that I probably should do it early in the morning. So. Um, it is what it is. And, uh, the baby might come anytime soon now, and this is the person that will probably deliver me. Tommy is scared. She's like, she's we like, have a doctor now. <laughs> That's all that matters. Uh, oh my god! That's what like, to cry too. <laughs> That's what to cry too. And then she's like, imagine I just go into labor and she's the only one. Like, <laughs> I said she's going to faint first. <laughs> Wake up, continue crying. Oh my god! Funny enough, people. I'm not even scared. Like, I'm not scared. I don't know. I'm not scared. Because they're not scared to be I'm supposed to be more scared. Like, do you, you know how? Do you know the funny thing? People tell me not to watch like labor videos and everything. Yeah, I, like all those things doesn't get to me. I used to watch it. Huh. I don't feel like this. I like. I'm like. People have done it. Like. Millions of women have done it. Yeah, They've gone before me, but doctor, not with me. And there are people that have given birth on their own. They need an need an Oscar. <laughs> Oscar there are people that have given birth on their own. So award. like, they need, they need a special mother there. <laughs> so, oh no. I just I don't know. I just have that faith that we find. I'm There's praying for it. The pain labor, the still epidural. Yes, that's I don't even know if I want to take it safe. I don't know because I'm hearing that some people like have sight, like it gives them. There's a side effect to it. So you're you, not the baby. <laughs> to yeah, to uh, the woman. Have you ever ever seen side effect? Never seen side effect. Trauma. Never trauma. Is it trauma? If there is, well, I mean, I wouldn't say that the side effect. It's just like. Because if there's really okay, so yeah, some women do have that trauma, but then most people still end up giving birth to more children. So yeah, it's like when you see your baby, they always say when you see your baby, like you just what's forget. The pain? Yeah, what the pain? So. I don't like pain. Let's avoid pain. I actually had a dream that I gave birth last night. You gave birth last night. Mm-hmm. But I gave birth. I was in Nigeria. I was oh, like, you're not in Nigeria. You I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I live in Nigeria. But the baby was so as I saw the and the baby was so cute and big. Like oh. I was like, oh, this, but the baby came out smoothly, like it was impromptu. Yeah, I think I was somewhere and then I was just like, Oh my god, the baby's coming, the baby's coming. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I didn't give it. It wasn't the place was like it was like my former church in Nigeria. <laughs> okay. Like I was outside and then I don't know what we were oh, doing. You give it to you give it and to then during <laughs> <laughs> the beach. <laughs> oh my guy. That would be bad though. <laughs> I'm having a beach this thing on Saturday. I should ah. give it there, that's fine. There are more people. <laughs> no, I beg. If I pass out, and besides, water to pour my face. Ah, uh, they will continue. They will call nine one one. The person that is going to pay pass is our father. My oh. husband will be so sad because it's like, oh, why was he not there? <laughs> oh my oh, god! <laughs> oh my god! Ah, I, my husband is like, he doesn't want like me to come and start going into labor and be screaming and he said he just wants to go like he said, if i he said the due date since the day has not come by due date he just he said we'll go to the hospital and they will induce me oh, so that well, when we come possible, out 
And I'm like, the people who come out when baby joy to come out, do you date or not? Yeah, but baby is already cooked. He's already cooked. Ready. <laughs> there was a time, and like, it's baby's birthday that way. I'm not scared. Wait, you're yeah, June now. June what? 27. Oh, we all know. You're only still. I cannot wait till 27. <laughs> do you date till June 8th? I cannot wait till 27. I beg. Oh, July 4th. Oh, don't catch it. That's a doctor. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know. You carry the many one. <laughs> you continue. I stopped. <laughs> July. No, no. Ah, uh, no. They will not even allow. The hospital will not allow me to even wait till July because when is over past 40, 40 weeks. Some some hospitals will let you stay to forty one weeks or even at most forty two weeks. I think the highest I've heard is forty three weeks. But usually from after forty one, forty two weeks at most. They induce you to bring oh, okay. out the baby. It's not advisable again. Okay. So. I've actually thought I, may, I thought I mixed up July and June 4th. So I just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going home. Going home. It's a new day. I'm going to. I'm going to service Canada to to get um, paperwork done, and um, from there I have an appointment for ten twenty at uh, a lab in Coquitlam. I hope I pronounced that right. Names of this place. The names of this place is really weird. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not eating. I ate in the midnight because I'm not supposed to eat um, from 10 to 8 hours before. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm doing rubbish. Rubbish. Okay, so I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> yep, this is me. <laughs> I want to do some. This is today Saturday, and um, it's like 12 1 p.m. We are going to the beach today, but um, before then, before then, I need to. I want to wash baby clothes, so that box right here, um, I brought it from Nigeria. It was like baby stuff that we bought in Nigeria, and. Um, So I want to wash, like the advice to wash baby's clothes before, um, before like the baby wears it. So I'm just going to do the laundry now. Mm. So the baby can come at any time. I'm ready. Ah. Sometimes the movements are really painful. So I want to do the laundry before. Yeah, today is a good day to do the laundry. I was going to wait before um, for her dad to come. For uh, <laughs> my husband to come and do it for. I think I'll just do the night off. I'm hungry. I'm going to find something to eat. Yeah, look at me. I'm a mess. I don't have my bath. I feel tired and overwhelmed. I've been trying to look for apartment. Like, Airbnb cost is really crazy and I'm not even seeing like 
in the area where you want. You are not even seeing like that. Even with the expensive cost, you are not even seeing like that. It's very expensive. Like it's scarce because it's getting to summer, so I think most places are booked. Like, my husband is coming on Monday and I don't know where he's going to stay. Though I've reached out to some apartment and they want us home for viewing. The thing is like, I don't even know if I like them. Like, and most of them want like one year lease. Like the agreement has to be like for a year. And um, I'm like, what if we don't like it? We'll not have to manage for a whole year. It's not easy moving to a new place. Like, right now, I know this sounds somehow, but like, <laughs> my team is in Nigeria. I just want to go back to my house. This is my This is my house. This is my family. This is everybody. Yeah, I'm going to go and I'm going to open the box and show you some baby stuff that we got. We couldn't get bring everything, of course, because we plan to go back after the baby is born, so everyone sees like they will come back. Like we basically be going and coming. Yeah. Um. But the little one I was able to pack is here. Any other thing that is left, so that we will just get them.
Like me, I like a magnet to a night. 